Ever wondered why stars seem to culminate about four minutes earlier each day? Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Imagine this diagram. The circle represents the Earth's orbit, with the Sun at its center. Here we have the Earth positioned at E1, directly beneath a star at noon. Now, the star is so far away that the movement of the Earth along its orbit in just one day is insignificant. When the Earth has completed a full rotation of 360 degrees, the star is once again on your meridian. But here's where it gets interesting. During that rotation, the Earth has also moved from E1 to E2 along its orbit around the Sun, since it takes 365 days for the Earth to complete one full orbit of 360 degrees, it moves about one degree each day. So, when the Sun is on your meridian at E2, it appears that the Sun needs about one more degree of rotation by the Earth to come back to your meridian. This is why all stars seem to culminate about 3 minutes and 56 seconds earlier each day. As a result, the solar hour angle or Shea of the Sun changes by about one degree each day, but what about other celestial bodies? Similar to the Sun, the Shea of all planets also changes daily, but at different rates due to their unique orbits around the Sun. However, the Shea of stars remains constant. The Earth's daily movement in its orbit is negligible compared to the vast distances to these stars. So next time you gaze up at the night sky and notice how stars seem to shift positions slightly each day, remember, it's all thanks to our Earth's journey around the Sun. If you found this explanation enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cosmic insights.